with this 2004 Jeep Liberty. All set to switch on. They, some people call it all sensor. Uh, right at the all filter, right above it, where it's located. And uh, I hear that tab, I've already got it pulled up. we got to pull it out in that direction. Some kind of way. A lot of times you can pull it out with your finger, sometimes you can't. But. <laughs> You see right there, that it's a tab right there. You got to push in that direction up and squeeze it. And it comes right off like that. All right, y'all. Uh, I made a 27 millimeter. millimeter socket deep well socket not short socket but deep well you're gonna need a deep well get it out Alright, this is the uh, sensor for the low pressure sensor switch or sensor switch, as you may call it. It's a That's what it looks like inside of the sensor. Let's get this thing tightened on back up here. Careful not to get it sideways or something, it'd be a damaged sensor. So just take your time. I got this thing from AutoZone and uh, they make pretty reliable parts I've been using from when I do shop there. Tighten it, you don't need to get it, you know. Tony Atlas, Blue Ferrigno, you know the incredible hook tight, you just need to tighten it, just snug. Just get your sense of connection back on there. Take it out. You see this part right here. You have to push that in when you're taking it off. But this piece right here has to. It's a lock. You got to be extended out. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back on there. And then uh, put that lock back on. Oh. 
Bueno, 